All right, everyone. This is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Duels. In this episode, we are taking a look at a deck that I call Elite Impulse. This deck was created by Beeswax89, who is a uh, user of the Magic Duels subreddit, and uh, so I trying out this deck is a red and white boros deck it is a uh, pretty much an allies aggro beat the opponent's face in deck so let's go ahead and see this deck in action all right our opponent is going to be starting things off here um this is actually pretty good i will keep this hand we got a first turn Glo goblin glory chaser turn two mage ring bully or it's open free blade i'll probably go with the free blade i like being able to try to get the renown So, Mountain, Goblin Glory Chaser. If that does not telegraph what we're doing, I don't know what does. So, he's got red and green. Typical signature of a ramp deck. He's got a blister pod. Hmm. That, that stops my Glory Chaser here. That stops my glory chasing ways. Um, don't want to go with. Uh, I, I like the the free blade. So Let's see if I kill that. He, yeah, no. All right, we're just gonna go like this. We'll go with the free blade. And we're not gonna attack into that. If I attack into that, I lose my guy, and then he has an extra mana for next turn. Uh, and I don't really like that. Oh, he missed the mana drop? And see, that's kind of why I didn't want... Alright, so we... Mana Act of Treason? No. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go into attack phase. Uh, we're going to attack with this. See if he blocks it. All right. Yeah, he he wants that. Uh, he wants that guy. So he'll fix his mana a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and uh, just put him out in, and drop a mage ring bully. And I could have act of treason and taken that thing. You know, I don't know. That seems like kind of a waste. All right, he gets a pilgrim's eye. Yeah, I really helped him there, getting his third mana. But I mean, I gotta get, I gotta get the attacking going. I mean, I have active trees on the line, so if he puts something, you know, at all big, we can, uh, we can take it. All right, let's go ahead and go into attack phase. Once again, we leave uh, the glory chaser back at home. that now do I overcommit here I really don't want to I'm afraid of a rolling thunder uh, yeah I don't want to overcommit we'll, we'll, we'll hang back three guys on the board is pretty good there goes Nissa now he's getting kind of desperate there that's why he plays her He needs to land though. That that much is for certain. He's he's scrambling for the land. Now the question is, is do I act of treason her? I don't have any way of sacrificing her. I do have a way of blowing her out of the water though. And I'm gonna do that pre-combat. He's gonna primal bellow. You know what? <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna steal her. Now I'm gonna steal her. And for no real reason, we'll drop that down and then go into attack with we'll attack with all. And we'll 
hit for a lot. 8, 10, 11 damage. And we get our guys renowned. Very nice. He gets her back. She's not going to flip yet. Unless he's got... I'm expecting the Moonvolley Acid Moss. I know you got it. Come on. You could just play it. I know you're going to do it. Come on. You know you're going to do it. Alright. Come on. No. No Moonvolley Acid Moss. Come on. Everybody's doing it. All the kids are doing it. Um. Well, unfortunately, well, we attack. There's no if, ands, but about it. We attack with all confirm. He's probably gonna block this to kill it, but he loses. Well, he's gonna pump her up. He's ravaging blaze somebody. Uh, he's gonna ravaging blaze that one. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and lose, uh, lose her. We put this guy. I'm gonna hold on to these lands. I'm gonna bluff like I got something. Alright. Though this is not. Hmm. It's not looking very good. He gets that. My glory chaser can get around it. Oh, we gotta squeeze five damage in. A uh, Titan Strength would be nice. I need a Titan Strength. That's what I need to draw right now. Um, that's good. Uh, let's uh, attack. Attack the fall. Yeah, he blocks that, takes damage, and we exquisite firecraft him for the rest. Alright, thank you, Mono Toxico. Thanks for playing. Alright, so we're going to be starting things off this time, and that's a lot of lands. And I am not. Who uh, draw on your hand? I want to. Uh, Alright, well, we're not going to go to less. I mean, this is not terrible. So we'll go ahead and put a planes. And we'll pretend we're. Nice and benign. Because we couldn't put this clifftop retreat. We could put that next turn. Uh, we'll probably put... Hmm. Usually I like, I like going with the free blade. Try to get his renown as soon as possible. Uh, mountain or plane. So we can play this. We'll put the free blade. And now backed up with a fire impulse and actually an act of treason. We should be able to get him renown. And the renown will give him just plus one plus one. So it'll be but it'll be a 3-3 three, three vigilance, which is pretty nice. There goes the reef soul. So that ends that. But we got a mage ring bully coming up. Or another Topin Flea free blade. Well let's do that. We'll go to our same plan and drop that mountain and continue. Uh, see if he's got a reef cell or a uh, flesh bag marauder. Yeah, it's this guy, the swift wing. One, two, first striker. We're going to kill that. We are definitely killing that. Got haste. We'll burn that away. Get out of here. Okay, he's got no more plays. We will definitely be attacking and get our renown. Confirm. Now he is playing black, so we're gonna have to be careful about over committing. There's that Renown. Look at the Mage Ring Bully. I'll drop a Planes. Hold on. Drop a Planes and let our opponent go. Now I need to start drawing some more critters. 
Oh, he had nothing. Oh, no. Sir. Nah, he's probably got some incense. Oh, hold on. Yes, everybody's attacking. Confirm. Alright, we'll put a mountain down there. And keep going. Till... Man, he's got... Dude, are you disc? Wait a minute, are you discarding something? Just no, he can't reanimate anything with just two. Oh man, dude, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, this does not have haste. I wish it did. All right, let's go into attack. Confirm. And yeah, he's pretty much done. We'll put this. Um, that's four, seven. I mean, that's fatal right here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. And we have an active treason. So even if he gets a blocker, um, he needs like a Reeve Soul right now. He needs another one. But if he puts a blocker, he's, he's screwed because I active treason it for the win. What's it gonna be, bro? But, and he, he he just got mana screwed, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Puts this guy. Oh, it does nothing for him. And, I mean, you know, it's a blocker, but that doesn't mean anything when I can do that. And, <laughs> and this guy gets freaking pumped from that. So, there we go. So, that's this game. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, he got mana screwed. So, what are you going to do? It, ha it happens. There's the first strike, been replaced by AI. Thanks for playing Fondashekash. I don't know what your name is. Alright, so we're going to be starting things off here. And no creatures. So, we will draw a new hand. And. Oh. Alright, we'll keep this. Mage Rig Bully. We'll put this down. I should have put the planes. Damn it, did it again. Ugh. You know, it's it's not terrible. It's just I let them know that I'm playing red and white. That's the only thing about it. Alright, we will put uh, this planes. Mage Ring Bully. And if it lives... He might be playing Boros too. <laughs> if it lives, this infectious bloodlust on him is like, oh, delicious. Love that. White and black. He gets this guy. Uh, all right, that doesn't really help him. Gives him some life. Oh, is he playing allies life gain or something? No, maybe not. Hmm. Oh, I can fiery impulse it. Uh, do I want to do that? Heralds to the yes. Uh, we will fire impulse that. Get it out of there. That pumps him up. An infectious bloodlust on him. That'll also pump him up. Oh my god. 6 5. Confirm. Attack with all. Confirm the attack. And blam. And then next turn, Eroyer's champion, possibly. Shadows of the past. All right. Well, if he's playing control, he could be in for some trouble here. Now, what do we do here? We didn't draw lands. Um. Well, we will. At this is <laughs> this is so delicious to try to do, but no, no, we're going to attack. Hit for four. Put him down to twelve, um, and then we will Eroyus Champion. That's probably gonna draw whatever kill spell he's got. Uh, that's gonna draw some kill. That's probably why he put this out first, because he's planning on killing something. Gets this guy, uh, Flying Death Touch. Whenever you gain life, he gets bigger. 
until end of turn, so that's okay. Oh boy! Oh yes! Um. Oh my goodness! All right, fire impulse on that. Does this seem familiar? He does get to scry though, but oh god, we gotta wait for him to finish. We're gonna infectious bloodlust on this this person. He gets pumped from that as well. All right, great start, great start. Attack with all. Confirm the attack. I always forget that the infectious bloodlust makes them want to attack, but hey, that's what we want to do. That's a, is that is that kill? Is that de no? It's very close to it though. Oh no, it is death. <laughs> I didn't even count. Holy shnikes! Hey, Enigma Forty Two, thanks for playing. All right, so we get to start things off here, and with no lands, we're going to draw a new hand for sure. And having only one land, we're gonna draw a new hand. Oh my God, what are you? Ugh, oh God, all right, that's fine. Uh, we'll first turn Kytheon, let him get killed. Oh my God, that was terrible. Of course, if he survives, this guy draws fire like you would not believe. see what he's got show me what you've got a blighted gorge Are you serious that's all you have um oh call of the full moon is kind of nice do I go with that or the infectious bloodlust hmm oh uh, this has more damage so we'll call of the full moon um, and the call of the full moon will make it much harder for him to kill Kytheon there. Kytheon. Kytheon is also it's awesome. That's nice damage on second turn. <laughs> Five damage. Uh, of course, we need to draw some lands. Well, really, we only need... Seriously, really, just one more land. Uh, once we get to four, we're good with this deck. I don't think there's anything that costs more than four. Oh, a Goblin Glory Chaser. And I did put Call of the Moon, right? So I got to make sure not to uh, put too much. All right, let's go into battle. Attack, confirm. All right, and then... Put down the little did I play? I can't speak right now. Goblin Glory Chaser, and then uh, we'll. Our plan is to put the infectious bloodlust on the Glory Chaser. See what he's got. Pilgrim's Eye. <sighs> Five six. Hmm. I definitely is, that's gonna stop this five damage and I really need to push my damage through right, let's see what we draw here um, call of the full moon oh it gives trample ah uh, yes I forgot this has trample so this is not the end it's not the end uh, it's not quite but we will call out the full moon on the glory chaser. And then uh, we will attack with all. Now he's, he's going to block, so he's going to take five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's going to take eight damage. Eight damage. But now he needs to he needs to stop both of them. In order oh right. Now the glory chaser has a menace. So he needs a way to stop both of them right now. And I'm not sure what he could do with what he's got on the board. And he's been replaced by AI. He's got some black. 
Uh, he gets this guy, who's, uh, you know, that's that's a nice card. I like that card. Never seems to do well for me, though, whenever I play it. I, I get nothing out of it. A land right here would be nice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bro. In I know, insult to injury. Insult to injury. Your vampire has betrayed you. Attack with all, confirm, and that's the game. Thanks for playing, Boss Raw.